What's up? What's up, Kyler? What up? Congratulations on the victory. Um, the commentary uh, said you've never looked better uh, from when, when they were watching that in there. So I guess was anything different in fight camp or preparation that led to a performance like this? Uh, could be tribute to my dad, the good looks, you know. This one never looked better. No, nah, man, uh, I, I just worked on some things, worked on uh, the cardio, pushed some things, and uh, I'm blessed and grateful to be able to be able to do this. In terms of how the fight played out compared to your expectations, did it play out? Uh, did it go according to the game plan? Yes, yes, definitely. I had uh, some moments, a lot of mental preparation for this. I visually and the feelings of the win after definitely felt that pretty clear. Uh, a couple of things in the fight, like the physical feeling of uh, his power, his strength, and some of the off balances of of both of us. That was the only thing that was a little different. So. Um, Pretty, pretty even in my head. And Pedro's obviously known for his durability, you know, never been finished in this division. So I guess, um, did you think there was any moments in there that you had hurt him or were you, did you know like this is probably gonna go the 15 minutes with Pedro? Definitely, I definitely knew I hurt him in that fight with a knee, a couple right hands, there was a couple kicks to the body, spin back kick. There's a lot of things that landed, you know, and uh, in that first round, he was, you know, chucking and in the third round he was chucking and I knew, and those leg kicks, you know, he was going to try to slow me down with that. I seen all of those things. He tried to slow me down, all of his offensive things. And in the first round, he got that uh, takedown or some scramble. And then I saw him going for that, that neck, and I was like, oh, here it is. So that and then every kick that came, checked it and just tagged him up. He, got a, he had a good jab. It was an honor to fight with him, you know. Uh, a lot of people haven't been able to – or nobody's been able to do that with uh, him. So I had to mix up the – the whole playing field. I had to change the whole playing field with different feints and looks and switching my stances and dropping my hands and smiling at him just to get him to play a completely different game because, you know, with a high caliber fighter like that, it's just back and forth, kickboxing. And why would you want to do that? That's not me. I'm, I'm a mixed martial artist, a true mixed martial artist that will be UFC champion. Can you tell me about the eye poke that I think was in the first round or whatever, you know, it was obviously <laughs> accidental, but he took a little bit of time to recover. Do you think that that was kind of gamesmanship on him to kind of recover from, like you said, you were kind of doing things that not a lot of people have done to him? No, I believe it just happens. It's a, it's a part of uh, his style. He gets poked a lot because... Uh, the, against Sean. Yeah, and he kind of comes in. A lot of people's reactions when they see a handout like this is to, you know, in the first one, I was kind of looking away going like this, and then that second one where the referee, I kind of hit him, hurt him, and then I went to like gauge, measure my distance to try to land an elbow or something, and that's when I uh, accidentally poked him in the eye, so uh, yeah. Then final one for me, obviously, Pedro's fought and you know he's only pretty much lost to guys that have gone on to fight for the title or former champions so from this point on you you have to assume it's you know top 15 top 10 high ranked guys so I guess at what point do you want to return and are, at what point do you start looking at names in that top 10 for you to match up with soon right away right away I'm gonna go check out some names but the UFC does a great job at especially with uh, my style of fighting you know the way I fight in the octagon is it's a direct representation of who I am and my character and the many different uh, realms of, of mentality I have. And it's going to be cool to see or match me up against somebody and for them to have any banger fight. So it's going to be uh, also exciting to see some of these fights in the bantamweight division tonight. And I'm stoked to watch that. But no more Apex fights, right? You want the crowd? <laughs> I love the crowd for sure. Kyler right here. Obviously, you touched on this uh, on Media Day a little, but the champ in your division is uh, a friend and teammate in, in Sean, and obviously you want him to win tonight. So of has course. There been any conversation <laughs> whatsoever on how you would handle that in terms of corners and coaches and all that kind of stuff if it did come to pass? Oh, that's my brother, man. Honestly, there are so many people here at, at the lab, and, and when we training, we all came. Man, I met Sean when I was 18 years old, and uh, Sean, Mario Batista. Marcus, there's so many dudes coming up that like, there's so many guys, we fight and train each other and train with each other every day, we're making money and stuff and like, it's, it's not really like that. We're gonna see each other and there's just too many of us. So I think we're gonna clear out all the divisions, us at the lab, you know, two local sports, we're gonna kill it. So let's go.
But it, it just to clarify, it's not going to be like Marab and, and Aljo where they will never fight each other. There's a possibility that you would someday. Oh, of course, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> Where's my guy at? There he is. Hey, you trying to fight? Let's do it. Let's make this money. Marcus McGee, the maniac. <laughs> Maybe not right now. Yeah, you taking my shot. I'm jealous. You taking everything. I got all. He's like, you get all the credit this week. I want it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. Congrats on the win, my man. That um, the conditioning I think was one of the things that really showed out tonight. And it looks like you go another two rounds. How proud of you were that? And did you guys work on anything specific to go that hard fifteen with somebody like a Pedro? Spot on, man. You, uh, yeah, we worked on it. I got my my strength conditioning coach Charles Dow. We've been working at Icon Sports, and uh, not just that, but we've been implementing so much of the high intensity training with opening the lungs and breathing exercises. And I just got into mountain biking as well. Got a nice uh, fully carbon mountain bike in Arizona, so that's been fun. Swimming, you know, you guys already know I spent a lot of time shadow boxing and stuff like that. So implementing more high intensity and um, kind of like circuit trainings and stuff has really helped a lot. And my coaches, John Crouch, Hanchi Nico, and, and Marcus and, and Charles Dow, they've really pushed me to elevate my uh, my systems inside. That's amazing. Yeah, no, great job because it really showed. You definitely put him on that back foot and had Pedro thinking a lot more than he wanted to have that fluidity, and you took away a lot of his game plan. Having somebody on the team like that, obviously main, you know, main event, the poster, not just fun, but how inspirational is it to be like, look, we're here, like we're we're, we're those guys on the prelim. We got a guy on the main event. What's going on? Like you guys put some respect on our name right yeah, now. Yeah, respect, man. You got. It's about respecting yourself, right? Respecting your time, respecting yourself in the mirror. And like, you know, some people ask me, hey, can you do this or this and that or that person? It's you on your path and your journey. You take away the camera, you take away the social stuff. It's you on your path, you in the mirror. And that's all you got. So you really have to make the best of it. And like whatever you have, you got to like, however you look, however you feel, you got to enjoy that. Be in your shoes. Be grateful. Hit yourself like this is me. This is what I'm going to take. And I'm going to put everything I can to be the best version of myself. And Everybody has that in them. So that's all we got to do is just connect to that and be grateful and push forward to be the best versions of ourselves. And, yeah, put some respect on ourselves. Absolutely. And the, the best version got the, the job done, you know, om almost with ease. Like you, you really enjoyed it in there. You're going to have a ranking this Monday, kind of a big deal. Um, besides the, the obvious, like, what's next and who's next, how does somebody like the, the winner of the Peter Yan and, you don't fight look or are we too soon like how do you see that coming yeah of course those are just um there's so many fights you know and but there's a the top 15 whatever happens there i you know i'm down to fight whoever whoever they give me good matchups and stuff but it's about me versus me every day and I'm, you guys have seen tonight a new level of me and i'm gonna keep just getting better and that version of me that fights against whoever in this whole planet i'm gonna beat them you know what i mean i'm gonna win that so that's the next version of myself as the UFC champion. Yes, sir. And last for me, I mean, you could go, you know, riding all kind of bikes and miles and all that, but compared to the intensity tonight of that main event, how are your nerves going to be while you watch that fight? Which one? With the main, with the title belt. Oh, I mean, <laughs> I just got out of the cage. You know what I'm saying? That's probably a lot more nervous. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a sick one. Sick one. Yes, sir, congrats on the win. Thank you. All right, you guys. Appreciate it. Hey, sickest media out here. Love you guys. Have a good one in Miami.